everybody and welcome to Storm Reads and today I'm going to be talking about part of my July TBR. I am hosting my own readathon in July with my lovely co-host Sarah from the Bookish Knitter and it's going to be like for two weeks even though I may I may do it for the whole month but it's officially for like two weeks but um, I'm gonna have the books for that in a separate video. These are just books from other things that I need to get to, whether it's buddy reads or just to talk about some of my friends' um, readathons that they have going on that I might loosely participate in and things like that. So I wanted to just separate it out, and so that's what I'm doing. So uh, one of the first readathons I'm going to talk about is Jaws readathon from my friend Lee from Dark Roots Creations. She has been doing a readathon every other month and it seems to always be based on a movie and what better time to do Jaws as in the summer so I think that's like really fun. Has a bingo board and I will put it here so that you can see it. I don't really necessarily have books picked out for this. I do know that for the uh, 1975 prompt I'll probably be reading a retro romance from the 70s. And for the Jaws prompt of reading a, like a monster book, I am going to do Trench by Steve Alton, which is the second book in the Meg series. And I figured what better time to uh, read another Meg book than a Jaws readathon, <laughs> since it's about a big Megalodon. So there we go. Other than that, I'm not really sure about which ones in her... Uh, bingo board I'm going to get to but I'm going to try to see if I can get some of my retro romances to fit in with some of the prompts so we'll see another one that I would like to kind of loosely participate in is Jane Austen July I always miss this because I forget about it and then I always have like a huge TBR and I just don't ever get to anything but I, I do need to read a classic and so I am going to read Northanger Abbey by Jane Austen because one of the prompts is to just read one of Jane Austen's works so that's what I'm going to read. I read this a long time ago but I don't remember anything about it because it uh, I've only read it once and so I need to read it again. I know I think it's kind of a little bit more gothic from her works and a little bit different than the other one so I want to give that one a go and if I can get to any of the other prompts, I will I will list them, um, I will not list them, but I will put the host down here, which I forgot to mention, which is uh, Books and Things, I believe is her name, her channel name, and uh, I'll link it below, along with any of the other readathons, I will link them below. So I do want to at least get to reading a Jane Austen book. And then there is the BookTube Blitz that is hosted by Jessica from Lady Lovestead Reads. And she is putting together these teams and from what I gather, if you read books and visit other booktubers and try to make connections with other booktubers and kind of expand your, uh, your friendship base within the booktube community is kind of what I'm getting from this. Um, I don't necessarily uh, know what any prompts are. I do know that you're supposed to read read books and I think you're supposed to try to connect with some other booktubers that have the same kind of reading taste as you and she has a discord for that where it has like all the information she has a video like so I will link that below but yeah I would like to try to participate in that a little bit and since you know reading books counts at least you know I'm, I'm getting there with that <laughs> and uh, she is also starting a um, a middle grade like book club called the middle grade appreciation society and I do want to try to participate in that in the first book that comes out it she's starting it I think the first one is in July so it's starfish by Lisa Phipps it's middle grade contemporary and I'm not huge on contemporary but it does sound cute and so I'm hoping I'm going to like it and I will at least give it a try so there's that and um, I will link that below too, so if you want to go check out her announcement for that and find out what the 
books are I think she has up until like October you can find that out and then of course I have some buddy reads and so I'm always buddy reading with my friend Barb and we are going to buddy read Trench together because she is going to try and participate in the Jaws readathon too. She is a huge horror fan, and so she thought that was really cool that uh, there was a Jaws readathon. So we're going to buddy read Trench together by Steve Alton and have a Jaws book. And then uh, we are working on the Grant County series by Karen Slaughter. So we are on book number four, which is Indebitable. I think that's how you say that. <laughs> And I know nothing about it. I just know that it's the next one that we need to read. And so we're going to read that. And then uh, also reading with Sherry, we are doing the How to Train Your Dragon series this year. And so I will be reading How to Ride a Dragon Storm by Crusader Cow, which is the seventh book in the How to Train Your Dragon series. We are doing one a month and there are 12. So by the end of this year, we will have finished this series. So it's kind of exciting to, you know, start a series and finish a series all in the same year. <laughs> and then I am also buddy reading a cozy with some of the uh, lovely ladies from the Killing Time with Cozy's uh, Discord. And we will be reading Deadly Summer Nights by Vicki Delaney. This is a book that I've been needing to read anyway. I think I may have had an e-arc of it and I just haven't gotten to it yet. <laughs> So, it, you know, it, I need to read it. But I think you're reading that one because the second book comes out. Like I said, I'm like really behind. The second book is going to be coming out soon and they're going to buddy read that one too. So I do need to get to that one. And all I know is it's like a cozy mystery set in the Catskills. But other than that, and it's historical. Other than that, I don't really know anything about it. And uh, same with these others. I have... None of these books, as you can tell, I really know anything about. Um, I do have some other cozies that I would like to try to get to in July, and one of those is Buried in a Good Book by Tamara Berry. Um, this one is about uh, the main character writes mystery novels, and she has a detective in her mystery novels, and she tries to think like that detective that she's writing about to try to solve actual uh, mysteries and everything so I thought that sounded kind of cool Let me give that a try and uh, that's all I know about that one that's just a little bit because I know somebody that's already read it and then murder on Amsterdam Avenue by Victoria Thompson is I think book 17 in the gaslight series which is a series that I'm trying to catch up on and one of my very favorite series and so it's a no-brainer to try to get one of those thrown in here and um, all I know is it's uh, about Sarah Brandt and Detective Frank Malloy and they, you know, two of my favorite people and I can't wait to get back into that. And it is historical. And then I have Murder at the Mushroom Festival by Janet Finsilver. And I'm going to be using this one for a Killing Time with Cozy Scavenger Hunt pick, which is House on the Cover. And this one is the... I think I believe it's the fourth book in the Kelly Jackson series. I read the third one, I think it was earlier in uh, in June. I think it was. <laughs> I think it was either last month or this month. I think it was this month in June. And um, I thought now's a good time to just try to finish it because I think there's only like seven or eight books, at least so far in the series. and. So I, that way I don't get totally behind since it had been a long time since I read the first two books and I really couldn't remember anything about them. But it didn't seem to be too bad jumping into book three. I enjoyed it and so now that the characters are kind of fresh in my mind, I want to kind of keep going with that. So that's what I'm going to do with that. And there's another uh, scavenger hunt prompt that is um, to read a book, about read a cozy that uh, is from a place you want to visit, but I don't, I don't really know offhand. So maybe one of these that I visit, that visit, that I read, I will want to visit that place. I don't know. We'll see. And uh, I think that's everything. I think. I hope. 
I do, I would like to get to some of my e arcs that I need to get to, but I'm not going to like list them because it seems like every time I do, I never get to any of them. But <laughs> I would like to get to that. I'm sure there will be a, a lot more like audiobooks and things that I throw in that I just don't know what I'm going to read right now. A lot of my retro romances are print books, so I know that's going to put me behind, which is why I, I really didn't want to make this too hard on me, and hopefully that I can get uh, some of my retros to fit some of the other readathons and things like that. So, fingers crossed. <laughs> and uh, have you read any of these books, or are you uh, looking forward to eating, reading any of these books? If you want to jump on and buddy read any of these with uh, me or me and my friends or anything like that, let me know. And I will make sure to uh, put it on my uh, Discord. I do put some of them on my Discord that I know that I that aren't in my Discord and want to buddy read with me. But uh, yeah, if you want to, you know, yeah, we can we can make it work. And uh, anyway, so I hope you enjoyed this video. And if you did, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe, and I will see you all in the next video. Bye.